16 nations, 12 traditional ethnic sports, and over a thousand athletes are here for the fourth annual Ethno Sport Festival. Alright, so in this horse archery, they have to hit the first target. In the second one, they have to be able to reload and turn around just in time. Oh, wow! He hit the bullseye on that! What a beast! Before they let me shoot archery on a horse, they said I had to practice. Well, good thing to have simulators here. One of the guest countries here at that No Sport Festival is Argentina and they're exhibiting their traditional ethnic sport called Pato. Some of these sports get madder and madder. This is spear throwing on horseback and they're trying to peg each other as hard as possible with spears while going full speed and some of them are even catching it in midair. So for proper throwing technique, you use the stirrups. You leverage that, you crank your hips back, you hold the spear like you're throwing a javelin, straighten your arm out, and let it rip. Damn, I need to train more. He's a beast. It's easy to tell by the crowds what people like more than anything, and that's free food, especially if it's exotic. This is Jonjola, and it's a traditional dish from Georgia. It's pickled flowers. Mmm, I can get down with that. One of my favorite parts of the festival has to be the universal taste. There are 16 countries exhibiting their traditional cuisines, and this dish is Senegalese. Mm. Our national food coming from Gagauzia. Gagauzia is an autonomy region the Turkic-speaking people are living in Moldova, in the south part of Moldova. And here we are preparing our traditional dishes. This is kaurma, the lamb meat, the most delicious lamb meat that you can ever taste, which is called kaurma. Kaurma! I'm going to eat some of that in Gagauzia. Besides the 12 main ethnic sports, the festival features cultural exhibitions and concerts, workshops, a dozen other attractions for both young and old, and if you ask me, some of the world's best shopping. The whole idea behind this traditional Georgian chalice is that the drinker must finish the entire beverage because they won't be able to put it down on the table without spilling it. This super cool table basically allows children to build traditional Turkic designs using wooden blocks. I'm literally trying my hand at the Ottoman slab. They train on a big slab of marble that they oil up with olive oil and they slap it for at least two hours straight. But hopefully when I'm done, I'll have man hands. Now I'm going to compete against the founder of the World Ethno Sport Confederation and hopefully win. All right, this is the moment of truth. And as you can see after that warm-up round, he hit almost all bullseyes. So pray for me. So we didn't even add up the points because I just got completely smoked. Bilal Bey, can you tell us about what you hope to achieve with the whole Ethnosport Confederation in this festival? Well, the, the, the Confederation's goal is to popularize traditional sports because with traditional sports also comes music, traditional music, traditional folk dance, traditional handicrafts, etc. So if we uh, focus our attention to popularizing traditional sports again, I think we can revive uh, culture all around the world and then we get a more colorful world again. There are five different types of wrestling at this festival. This one is called Abba. I've never done this type of wrestling, and hopefully I'm gonna learn a technique. Okay, I just got launched. I'm here with some champions of a game called Ushuk. 
which is the ancient form of the game marbles, the modern game marbles. Ashik is the name of a bone that's found in the foot of an animal. So they just took the Ashik bone of a cow, this big one, and they basically bowl it into the ones that are in the middle, the small ones, the lamb bones. And the whole point is to knock them outside of this large circle. This man got one of the pieces outside the circle. So let me try it. Let's go! Ashik! Wow, what an incredible time I had. I have ultimate gratitude to the World Ethnosport Confederation for putting on this festival and this wonderful Kluger's tribe for hooking it up with this traditional Kalpak. I can't wait for next year.